Hello, amateur radio operators. This is Ghost Rider. I'm currently at the remote uh, QTH and the camper here, and I thought I would bring you a little video on a portable setup um, using a Yaesu FT891 and a Z100 Plus LDG tuner with a Jetstream 30 amp switching power supply. And what antenna might we be using today? Well, we are using a Wolf River Take It Along or TIA coil, which is the Silver Bullet 1000 with the stand. I'd like to show you a little bit more about it. So here we are at the remote QTH, uh, temporarily out of town camping. And we have the Silver Bullet 1000 coil with the take it along stand essentially it's the uh, stand this nice machine base with the three legs and an extendable 102 inch whip there have been several reviews done online with this coil i thought i would give you a few tips and tricks that i found that might help you out in setting this up so the first thing is the coil does not come marked for particular bands so it gives you an idea when you start that you want to basically have a couple of the coil wraps exposed right at the top of the um, of the uh, the outer ring of the PVC there so what I've done is gone out through here with an antenna analyzer and you do want to use an antenna analyzer it'll take you a long time to get all these marked I've gone out through here and taken some measurements for the setup and written all those down I'd like to share that with you maybe it'll help you out so what I've done is I've marked the coil with a sharpie at each of the band settings just so I can come back to that every time and I'm taking that from the top of the uh, the shunting ring here that's where my measurement is right there. I'll set the top of it at each of these little marks for changing the band. Um, so maybe if I give you the measurements that I have, your setup will be similar and maybe it won't take you as much time to, uh, to get it all tuned up. I do have all three of the 33 foot radials uh, out, kind of randomly placed. They're not all exactly uh, 120 degrees apart, but they, they work okay. So let's uh, let's go look at the uh, the measurements we took and then see how we set this up. Okay, so here are the measurements I took. First of all, here's a diagram of the top of the coil, and here you can see the um, the PVC tap ring that moves up and down to shunt out the the coil at the different band increments. Uh, the measurements that I'll be giving are from the very top of the PVC inner uh, portion which is going to be right here it actually steps out or steps back in a little bit right under the whip taking from that mark to the top of the tap ring and I would suggest that you mark your coil with a little crow's foot here and always put the tap ring screw directly under that as you're as you're setting yours up that way you can come back to the exact spot because this tap ring can actually rotate you can twist it clockwise or counterclockwise to do some fine tuning and obviously the whip screws into the top here so again um, all the measurements are taken uh, from the top of the pvc inner part to the top of the pvc tap ring and the readings are all taken with all of the 33, 33 foot radials attached and um, spaced out approximately. The coil is sitting on a wood picnic table and I'm using 112 feet of coax. So these readings and measurements that you'll see, you, yours may vary and it will vary depending on the amount of coax you're using, what's near your antenna and how you have it set up. But hopefully this will get you close um, to getting 
tuned up on the different bands. So let's let's start at the top. With a six meter band, I found that um, the distance here of a quarter inch between uh, this mark and the top of the coil with the whip all the way collapsed, which is what is noted in the instructions, um, which in my case, this corresponds to basically the last uh, little click at the top, right, right between the first and the second coils. Um, it's where I had the tap ring set at that measurement with the whip collapse, it tuned up pretty good on six meter. For 10 meter, just leave the ring in the same spot, the last click at the top, and then um, close your whip down slightly to 65 and a half inches long, okay? Uh, 12 meter, again, you're gonna leave your tap ring in the same spot, and your whip's gonna be 82 inches long. Uh, 15 meter, the whip is going to be 95 inches long. And again, we haven't moved the tap ring yet. So all the high bands, you really don't need to move the tap ring at all. Just leave it at that last spot at the top and adjust your whip for the different lengths. All right, now let's go to 17 meter. Um, with a 17 meter band, the distance I measured was one half of an inch, again, this distance D here, one half of an inch between here and here. And the whip all the way extended. And this extendable whip is a 102 inch um, extendable whip. So guess what? This means that you can get a, <clears throat> a standard stainless 102 inch steel whip will work on this, uh, on this coil, which is really good because when you get to the lower bands, you don't, you don't have to change your whip length at all. <clears throat> so if you're working 17 meter all the way down through 80 meter, then 102 inch steel whip uh, will work good. Uh, if you can transport that, that's a little bit of a beast to uh, transport around, but um, it's a lot more robust than the extendable antenna is. So just keep that in mind. You can also put in, since it's, uh, since it's got a 3 eighths inch, um, thread up here. Any other shorter whips that you might have around would work on this as well. Again, 17 meter, that measurement was a half inch. Uh, at 20 meter, the distance measurement increased to seven eighths of an inch. Whips extended. 30 meter, inch and three quarter. 40 meter, now that we're getting into the low bands, you actually need a couple of different settings um, to, you know, to you'll have to change it if you really want low SWR between the, the SSB voice and the CW portion. But for SSB, I got two and five eighths of an inch. And for 40 meter CW, I got two and 13 sixteenths. So notice that the SSB portion is, is essentially two clicks up from the CW setting. So if you if you set it here at the CW setting, you click up uh, two of the, uh, the coil clicks and you'll be at basically this two and five eighths inch for the uh, phone portion of the band. 60 meter, I set the 60 meter for the center channel. I think it's five channels. I can't remember the frequency, but I put it, uh, I tuned for the center channel and I found that the distance is four and three quarter inches 75 meter or the phone portion of the 80 meter band, the distance is eight and one eighth inch. And then finally for uh, 80 meter, call this CW or data, the distance is 10 inches. Um, so that's that's the setup, uh, it worked good for me. Uh, all the, the tunings except for I think maybe 15 meter and 12 meter came out to be one and a half SWR or less without a tuner. These I think were up around maybe two and they were so close it uh, really small changes didn't seem to affect them much. So it could be the radials, it could be how I have it set up, but essentially you're getting one and a half to one SWR across all the bands between six meter and 80 meter. This coil can also be used as a mobile antenna. Obviously you'd have to get out to change the bands, but it's certainly built robust enough uh, to do that. 
Um, so kudos to Wolf River Coils for producing such a good antenna. And finally, I wanted to show you a few contacts I made just in a very few minutes after I had the antenna tuned up on 20 meter um, this afternoon. So um, Italy, California, uh, Sicily, Bosnia, Croatia, Puerto Rico, Aruba, um, you know, contest obviously, so everybody's giving five nines, but I had no trouble hearing any of these operators. And I would say 90% of them didn't have any trouble making out what I was telling them the first time around. So excellent portable antenna uh, for portable operations. It's compact, it's lightweight. I think it's about a pound and a half and um, should go a long way to helping helping everybody out with either field day or remote portable operations or soda activations. So until we meet again, 73.